Quran tells us that prophets and messengers were sent to make people wiser in their connection with the universe, in their connection with the Almighty Allah. And uh, we are told by Almighty Allah in the Quran that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was sent to do four things. It is Almighty Allah who sent amongst them a messenger. Yatlu alayhim ayati who would recite, who recited, or who recites verse with them. وَيُزَكِّيهِمْ and purifies them. وَيُعَلِّمُهُمُ الْكِتَابَ and teaches them the book. وَالْحِكْمَ and wisdom. وَإِنْ كَانُوا مِنْ قَبْلُ لَفِي ضَلَالِ مُبِينَ Despite the fact that before that, they were lost. For people, even with children, first we need to teach them how to recite, how to understand the words, to put meaning behind words. Then it's about mannerism, ethical standards, moral standards, respect, integrity, honesty. And then move to the next stage is about putting meaning in terms of knowledge, transforming information into knowledge. And once we have that knowledge, putting that knowledge to good work, gaining experience behind it would give the wisdom. So. In going through these four stages, one has to truly dedicate time to try and purify one's manners, behaviors, values, principles, standards, to make sure that one goes for the highest standards. One does not compromise on standards and values. One does not get tempted even to negotiate on values and standards. With values, either you have them or you don't have them. There is no 50% practicing on values. Values is like a glass. It's either intact or it is shattered. And then we go into the knowledge. As human beings and Muslims, we are told that the first verse revealed to the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad peace be upon him, was none other than Iqra, read, recite, learn. So as human beings, as Muslims, we truly need to learn. We see that societies that truly seek knowledge and learning, they become successful. Nowadays we hear about organizational learning. They have realized that even organizations need to learn. So learning doesn't stop. Learning, as we were told by the Prophet of Islam, أطلب العلم من المهدي إلى اللحد Seek knowledge from the cradle all the way to the grave. So the only time one stops learning is the day they die. Experience comes with time. If one applies that knowledge, it's not the knowledge that's gonna give you power, it's not the knowledge that's gonna give you result, it is the applied knowledge. By applying the knowledge, one gets to learn what is right, what is wrong, what works and what doesn't work. So in putting that knowledge into practice, one can see the benefit behind it. And as human being, most of the time it is through trial and error that we get to learn. We may have an idea, but we don't know that the idea is good until we implement it. So, with that in mind, I call upon my Muslim friends and my friends and brothers in humanity to truly begin to work on those four stages. One is to listen to the message, purify one's uh, manners by raising personal standards and values, learn, read, research, and then put that knowledge into practice. So putting that knowledge into practice, you benefit, society benefits, mankind benefits. And that is how all the invention go to become into reality, and today we are enjoying the result of many inventions by people who truly went beyond only browsing and reading, putting that knowledge into practice. <laughs>